Hi everyone. So, God has had me focusing a lot on um, the things that He's bringing into my life. So, He hasn't had me coming on here and providing testimony because there's um, this is like the silent period. Um, it's the only way that I could explain it. Uh, there's a silent period. I mean, we're still talking my spouse and I, but we're kind of not. It, it's, it's weird. Um, so anyway, um, the reason God brought me on here is he has been highlighting a particular vehicle to me. And I have, for the last three days, and I have been asking him if this is what he wants. If he wants me to go to this place and he wants me to, you know, try and apply to get this car or this vehicle. And I get silence. I just get confirmation that this is the vehicle. Like, he's really putting this vehicle in my head. I can't stop thinking about it. Kind of like my spouse. I can't stop thinking about him. Like, so I know when I can't stop thinking about something, it's because God is putting it in my mind, putting it in my forefront, saying... Here it is, here it is, here it is. Be ready, be ready, be ready. And I was like, okay, be ready for what? And so I finally was like, okay, Father, if this is what you want for me, if this is the vehicle you want for me, I need confirmation and I need it in threes. I need to understand what it is that you're trying to tell me. And every word that I've heard since I started asking is about God using others to bless you. And I was like, okay, so how are you going to use someone else to bless me? Am I going to go to this dealership and they're going to just like, give me the car? Like, I don't understand. And so he, he had me go take a bath. And he said, sit still and be quiet. So I was. I was thinking about, you know, the car and my husband and blessing after blessing after blessing. And then he brought me to Hebrews 11.35 through a sister um, that I, I'm listening to. I don't listen to her voice. I just read the words because sometimes Father just doesn't want me to hear the person's voice and get lost in the translation, as he calls it. He says, I just want you to read what I pick. I want you to focus on what I have you read. And so she got the number 11.35 and she looked it up on the some link for Bible verses and it came up with Hebrews 11.35 and Hebrews 11.35 is about um, having faith receiving by faith um, and, and it talks about God's ability to give us what we desire the heart our heart's desires by having faith and there's several scriptures that start that way this one in particular starts with I receive in faith and then whatever it is that God is going to bless you with is what you're receiving a few days ago this is three days ago I was on the bus and I was having these contractions because I couldn't there was no other explanation like they were so strong and they were filled with such pain that it felt like childbirth and I knew that I was birthing my new car and then God brought me back to when I was still married and the pain that I was having back then and I was like I realized that that was birthing my new life and he goes, okay, now why have I been having you have pain at work? My new position. And he goes, okay, now why have I been giving you pain at home? My new home. Who's your new home? My husband. So, when he says that you are going to receive blessing after blessing after blessing, and then it's going to cause your head to spin, it's because we don't look at the fact we don't associate 
our blessings with our birthing. I knew that the first thing I was going to birth was a vehicle. And why do you say that? Because that was the last thing I lost. God is going to start in reverse. He's going to give me what I lost first. The last thing I lost was my truck, my car. He's going to bless me with a new vehicle that is going to be like my first vehicle, the one I really wanted. And this is where the revelation came in. And all I have to say, whoever this individual is, God bless you, my brother or my sister, I don't know. But you have been begging, you have been praying, you have been sacrificing, you have been fasting, you have been standing in the gap. Like, like nothing I've ever felt before. The love that is coming from you is so great. that God is answering your request. And I am receiving this blessing and saying thank you and asking God to return that blessing to you a thousandfold. Someone has been asking God to bless me with a vehicle. At the end of this video, I will have my email address where you can reach me. So that we can connect because God has a specific vehicle he wants me to, to receive I can and I will give you all the information of where you can find this vehicle and who you need to contact and all that good stuff and I want to thank you I want to thank you for wanting to be a blessing to me for wanting to be used in this manner by God thank you Thank you for your obedience. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for loving God so much that you hear his words that he speaks to me through the testimony that he has me give. I will be loading a video with testimony soon. I can't right now. So just so you know, my birthday is on the 16th. God had me repost on the community page, my Christmas list, my Christmas wish list. If you know anything about the season, people call July the mid, the, 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 the Christmas, summer Christmas or the, the, the halfway to Christmas. Or, but it's, it's technically looked at as a celebration of the Christmas holiday because there is exactly six months left in the year till we get to Christmas. And my birthday falls right in the middle of the year. My birthday is the midpoint. After my birthday, it's like a slide. It goes downhill <laughs> and it goes fast. And I just have to say, I was obedient when God said, repost the community page, but change it. This is what I want you to ask for. But what I asked for, he's giving me something better. And I just, I will follow him to the ends of the earth. I will follow him to my death if need be. Because God is amazing and I don't ever want to be without him. And whoever you are that wants to bless me with this vehicle, you love God just the same as I do. And I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank you, my puppy thanks you because now I'm gonna get to get him out of here, get him out to the park. We're gonna spend time together outside. We're gonna go hiking. We're gonna go do the things that we've been wanting to go do, but can't because I can't take him with me. And God doesn't want me to sacrifice any more than I've sacrificed because he said my time of sacrifice is over. So. Thank you again. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I love you with every inch of my heart. And I pray 
that you seek God in this hour. Because when he tells you that he's going to bless you through others, that's exactly what he means. I could have easily gone to any dealership. And yeah, the blessing would have been there, but it wouldn't have been as big as God would have wanted it to be. Because I waited, because I had radical faith in waiting in Him, He said, now is the time for you to receive from the people that I am sending you. There are positions that are lining up. There are open doors that are beginning to shed light. And as I'm seeing the corridor, I'm like, every door is opening and I just, I'm so excited about the future. And I can't wait to bring you along with me to show you what it is that God is doing in my life. Because I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Keep fighting. Keep moving forward. Keep waiting on God. Don't give in. And you will receive the bounty that is yours. In the name of my Lord Jesus, amen.